welcome to my channel. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time coming. I filmed this video so many times. I can't tell you guys how many times I have filmed this video. It's almost like driving me insane. I've said, hi guys, welcome to my channel like 15 times. And it's, I feel like a crazy person, but I think I've just been overthinking the whole thing. I'm going to try and kind of follow some sort of a, not script, but I have my notes down here. So if you see me looking down, then I'm looking at my notes, but to try and keep me on pace, um, I am a talker. So honey, I will go off into a whole other tangent and forget this list is even here. So I'm going to try and stick to the list so that I can film this once for all. I've been trying to film this since probably the beginning of, I don't even know. It's been a while, probably four videos ago. So I've been overthinking. I'm going to try and just let things flow and tell you guys a little bit more about why YouTube, kind of what my channel's gonna look like and hopefully it's something that you like um, and kind of what got me here so you can know a little bit more about myself and moving forward what this channel is going to be. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it, um, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting on here regularly. This one may go up on Sunday, but I know for sure moving forward, Sundays are the days that I'm gonna be uploading. So look out for videos then, and then also follow me on social media. I have my social media. I'll put it on the screen and I have it in my description box. I'm not a huge social media person, so don't judge me. I don't have thousands of followers and all that stuff. So it's a little, it's a little bare right now, but um, I do get on. So hopefully this will give me more incentive and make me want to actually get on even more than I already do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so brief background of myself. This is one place that I went on a whole tangent about in my last video with an S, okay, because it's multiple. Um, I think for now, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself. And if I'm pulling on my shirt, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to flash y'all. And um, yeah, I don't know why this keeps sliding down, but that's why I keep doing that. But anywho, um, I'll tell you guys a little bit about myself and kind of um, give you an idea of my personality and everything like that. So one, I'm 23, I just turned 23, I'm a Taurus. My birthday is May 14th, so for all my fellow Tauruses out there, our birthday was canceled. All the Aries were out here complaining about their birthdays being canceled. Baby, our birthdays were canceled too. I should have been in Florida the week of my birthday, but it's cool, it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to reschedule that to the end of the year and we'll be good but I just turned 23 um I'm originally from Ohio um I live in Atlanta right now um I love it here I've been here since the very very end of November like the last days of November I moved here um I was just kind of ready for a new scene and I have a whole video dedicated to more so why I moved to Atlanta and kind of what got me here. But um, I've been here for a few months. Your girl still has her Ohio tags. So if you see me driving around with Ohio tags, it's just not a priority. And then the Rona came and I really wasn't a priority anymore. So um, I've been in Ohio my entire life. I've never lived in another state. So this is my first time. And luckily this was kind of like a safe zone for me. I um, have a lot of family here. My entire dad's side is basically here or somewhere in the South. So we came from Georgia. So I left my mom's side, but I came to my dad's side. So it kind of worked out a little bit. So um, originally from Ohio though, went to high school, every school, obviously if I'm from Ohio. See, this is where I be getting to the tangents that it's just ridiculous. But um, I met all my friends up in Ohio. They're still there. I have two sisters up there. My mom and my grandma are there. Um, and we have a pretty small Ohio family. So um, pretty tight knit. We have cousins that are spread around on my mom's side, but for the most part, that's my Ohio family. Um, and then my niece, my beautiful, beautiful niece. Um, she is the love of my life. She is a turd. Okay, let me tell you though. She is a turd. She's six years old. She'll be six years old this year. And she is, love her to death, but she's a turd. And she knows it and I call her turd anyway. But um, she's up in Ohio too. So I'm in the middle. I'm the middle child on both sides of the family. So for all the middle children out there, 
I know you feel me, okay? But my dad's side, I have my little sister, aunt, who's up in Ohio, and my brother, who is down here in Georgia with me. So, um, and then I have my dad, my stepmom, and then the whole slew of pretty much being related to all of Georgia. So, um, I'm in the middle of those two as well. So, pretty small group of immediate family. Um, I went to college, I graduated 2018 uh, with my bachelor's in human resource management um, from the University of Akron. That was a short stint, um, but uh, taught me a lot in a short amount of time, whatever. After I got out of college, I started my career in HR. Um, that kind of is going into my moving video and kind of why I moved to Ohio, uh, from Ohio, but um, I did go in and work in corporate America. And up until the end of last month, I was still in corporate America, but Rona that took my job away. No, it didn't take my job, but um, kind of, it really did, honestly. But because of the coronavirus and the industry that I got into after I kind of worked in more corporate HR, um, I, the, my position was eliminated along with um, hundreds of other people at my company. So um, right now is the perfect time to start a channel, start what I wanted to do. This has been a long time coming and I figure since I don't have a job, I don't have anything else to do right now. So I figured why not just start this and see what happens and while I'm still on the search for work. So that is that so kind of why youtube so we're going to get into that topic because i think that kind of sets the tone for the rest of the conversation like why youtube why now i know a lot of people are starting channels right now which is awesome while it's there we might as well all get on it if that's something that we're interested in and you actually truly have a passion for it but I have been interested in YouTube for so long, y'all. Like, it's been forever since high school. I've been, so I guess starting with YouTube, I've been interested in the beauty side for most of my life, I guess you could say. Um, I used to do makeup starting back in high school and um, also, hold on real quick. Can we talk about Fred on my face? Please ignore Fred, okay? He is not here to stay. That time is coming, and I feel like every time I try to film this, that time has been coming. But please ignore the mountain on the side of my face. It is it's part of the hormone. Mother Nature is coming to haunt me once again. So back to why YouTube. So back in high school, I was on a dance team. I will insert some cringy pictures of me when I was in high school and kind of the makeup that we did. So I was on a dance team that performed at basketball games and football games. So if you think about the people on the sidelines or people who do halftime, I did that back when I was about 40 pounds lighter and super active. And that was my whole high school. So from freshman year all the way up to senior year. So we wore like super loud makeup that was so like glittery and um, badly put on. Let me tell you, we wore the eyeshadow that if you go to Sally's is like a dollar, Sally Beauty or whatever, or Family Dollar. It's like a dollar, it comes like a little square pan and the only glitter that's on it is on top. We wore that glitter and we would buy a whole bunch of them so we could just scrape the glitter off and put it on our eyes and our team colors were blue and gold. So um, we wore those colors. I don't know why we always wore like a red lip because that looks awful. Let me tell you, it looks terrible together. I will find pictures and put them in here, but it's a terrible combination. But anywho, back then it wasn't bad. But um, with our colors, it made it a little tricky to have dark skin or darker skin and wear those colors. And honestly, if we being real, those colors don't look good on anyone but you can finesse it if you know what you're doing. Back then, we really didn't, but for the time, we kind of did, if that makes sense. So back then, I took an interest in helping out my teammates and my friends because all my best friends were on the dance team with me, which was great, that's how I met all of them. So I took an interest in trying to figure out how to make this look as good as it can since we have to wear these colors and um, how can I make it work for our skin color so we don't look like clowns, which we, looking back, we still did, but less like clowns. We look like classy clowns, okay? But 
that was where my passion started because we didn't have a lot. We had very cheap makeup. We were not a school where we had lots of funding. We were an inner city school where we worked for everything we had. So all the man money, the money, all the money we made for with fundraisers and hustling out on the side of the road asking for money, everything we did, we put back into our team and that included makeup. So um it was a challenge but it was a challenge that i loved and i think that's what started the journey so i started getting on youtube finding out how i can create little looks finding out how i can put eyeshadow on and liners and um different things like that just playing in the little bit that i had at my disposal back in high school so um that is kind of where it started i graduated high school went to college kind of fell off didn't really care too much i won't say the care was gone but like you know it wasn't a priority because i was trying to graduate because you know your girl was spending coin to be in college hold on y'all oh i have like a string of lash glue but anywho um your girl was trying to oh my goodness y'all see that Okay, um, yeah, trying to graduate and, um, you know, that focus shifted to strictly graduation. So, um, I was still watching YouTube. That was when I feel like YouTube started to like really pick up and people started getting like YouTube famous. People was, were starting back in, when I was still in high school, but it started to really like roll when I was in college. And um, I never thought about myself getting on there because a lot of you guys can relate. I was not the popular kid in school. Like I was in a program, so I was away from the general population. And I also was not like your super, super social person who's out talking to everybody and everything like that. So back then me getting on a camera was like uh, anxiety attack waiting to happen. I don't have anxiety, but that's what, all I can describe it as. And I I just never pursued it. I just always took it as something that I would just watch and it would just be my little hobby and that's what I do. But I was still like practicing makeup and practicing on my best friend and you know, just like having fun with it or whatever. So I would say after, like when I was about to end college, that's when I was like, okay, I'm about to go in the real world. What do I want to do? And the obvious answer for me at the time, because things were rolling so quick, was to hurry up and get a job. So got my job, hated it. I, you know, I won't say I hated it, okay? I hated most parts of it, but I, it did teach me a lot. It taught me business savviness. And in a short amount of time, I learned so much about corporate and I did like my actual job. I just, I feel like there was a lot of pieces that I didn't like that I said, okay, I don't want to do this forever. So, um, I started practicing filming videos, y'all. I would have cooking shows. I still have cooking shows. My friends have to watch me on my cooking shows all the time because your girl is always cooking something up in the kitchen and I'm, when they're on FaceTime, they're on Aaron's cooking show and you can ask them. But I would do that, I would film makeup and this is just stuff that I would show myself and that's it, nobody's ever seen them. And I think it took me moving to Georgia, getting into a new environment to actually say, okay, I've been doing this for a long time. This has been an interest of mine. Why don't I just do it? Like, what is, what am I waiting on? What is, what am, what, 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 what am I trying to say, y'all? What, what is the benefit of me waiting and just, you know, you kind of get into one, like, okay, what if I'm not good at it? Okay, then you just stop, you keep doing it or you stop doing it. There's only two options there. Or, you know, you get into that mindset of everybody's doing YouTube. There's no place for me. But people were saying that five years ago. Everybody was doing YouTube. And people are still doing good. And people are still loving it. And people still get on. People like me watch more YouTube than regular TV. So I think this has just been a leap of faith. I am taking my time while I have it. And I'm just pursuing my passion. Like people might laugh at this. People might think that it's cringy. I think it's cringy. Baby, when you talk to yourself on a camera, it is cringy. But I love it and it's making me happy. And so I think it's worth it and we'll see where it goes. So that's where we are today. So why now? Okay, so first of all, the big room, the big room and the flag, the big, that's not it either. The big elephant in the room. Okay, I don't have a job, okay? 
I am jobless. So why not use my time wisely? You know, like I'm not doing anything. I go and drive around for fun and talk on the phone all day. Like why not be productive and do something that I want to do? So that is really why now, like I feel like I'm still super young. I'm 23. Why not dibble and dabble in as much as I, like, stuff as I can? Well, I don't have kids. I'm not married. None of that. Okay. None of that. Your girl is single. Sing I can't talk. Your girl is single as a dollar bill. Okay. So why not just start something new and try it out and see what happens. So that's really the short answer to why now. Um, so moving forward, what is my channel going to look like? So honestly, it's going to be a hodgepodge y'all because there's so much stuff going around in this big old head. So many things that I'm interested in that I think I want to try and perfect. One of them being makeup. Um, that is and always will be a passion of mine. The beauty industry is so creative and so many different routes you can take in it. Um, you know, I think there's so much room for me to dabble in that world. So still beauty. Um, also my skincare journey. So I think one, I have a lot, I struggle like a lot of people with skincare and I have not found my set niche or niche, whatever, my routine that works for me. So for one, um, I started going to an esthetician who is here in Atlanta. She was great. I loved her office. It was like super, it was a vibe, okay? It was like one of those places you would light some sage and it was a vibe. And it was super natural, all that stuff. Went to one appointment, scheduled my follow-up appointment before I left. And girl, it got canceled. I, I was like, you know, when I finally started getting into something and started to take my skin seriously, it got canceled. So they're working on rescheduling appointments and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that's, I don't know when, how soon that will happen, but I'll take you guys along that journey with me as I try and learn about my skin. I have hormonal acne, so obviously every time the time of the month comes, my face looks like a pizza. And every time I get stressed or upset or I'm eating bad or anything like that, my skin goes loco. So as I'm trying to figure out my balance and kind of like what I can eat and what products I should be using and what treatments I'm getting, I want you guys to see that too. So I'll take you guys along that journey with me and finding out what works. I have acne and hyperpigmentation, so it's 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 a whole lot that goes into that at once. Um, also, I'm not a huge fashion person, but you know, there might be some shopping here and there. I'm not uh, someone who puts fits together, I guess you could say, but I can't get dressed and get cute or whatever. So, you know, there's a little bit of that there. Shopping, that brings me to the most amazing store ever created, Target, Target, okay? Like, Target is my life. I love Target so much. Like, I would literally move into Target if I had the opportunity. Like, Target, if you want to pay me to live there, I definitely will okay because it's that great target is the top tier department store for me so lots of target hauls lots of going there because whatever i'm literally going there later to find a strapless bra i don't need one necessarily but i told myself that i needed one so we're going so target also grocery hauls all kinds of stuff i live alone so i don't go super often um but yeah look forward to that and also um, learning about the new city that I live in and state I have been here a few times multiple times but as an adult I haven't been able to explore and find out new things different restaurants bars all kinds of stuff so look forward to that too I will be also exploring Atlanta and finding out the different things that the city has to offer. So um, once the Rona decides to leave, we're going to go and have fun in Atlanta. And yeah, that's going to be a part of it too. So there's that. Also, I am moving. I hate my apartment. There's so much about my apartment that I hate. And it's not terrible. It's in a great location. It's there's just a lot of pieces that I hate and I kind of rushed into it, which is also in my moving vlog. Russian got this apartment, wanted somewhere to live. It was nice or whatever, but I hate living here. So 
eventually, hopefully sometime soon, I will be moving out of here. So I'm gonna take you guys along when I go and find apartments, when I, um, so I'll do apartment tours, kind of seeing what works for me, what I like, different areas, all this stuff. I think I have a general idea of where I wanna live, but I'll take you guys along that journey with me. So if you like apartment tours and apartment shopping and shopping for your apartment and all that stuff, we're gonna do that too. So yeah, I think I hit the majority of it. It's gonna be an organized, chaotic, craziness mess. However, I think it's gonna be a good journey because I'm gonna learn so much along the way. I'm gonna learn about you guys. You guys are gonna learn about me. You're gonna learn about why I talk so much. You're gonna learn about why I talk so fast. You're gonna learn about why I have tangents. This video is supposed to be 15 minutes long. We are rolling into 21. So if you get the idea, it's not gonna be perfect and uh, I'm gonna stumble, I'm gonna make mistakes. It's gonna be a learning lesson. I don't have fancy equipment. Your girl is filming on her phone because baby, we're not about to be investing in a whole bunch of equipment right now. So I'm gonna use what I have, um, edit it as best as I can, the videos, and really I think it'll be about the content. So if you rock with my content, I hope that you come back. Hopefully you can get an idea of the craziness that I actually have. This is very composed, calm, cool, calm, collected Aaron for my first video. However, there's a whole nother side to me that I can't wait to share with you guys and take you guys to meet my friends, my family. You'll see also why I'm insane. I'm the same one of the crazy people. So you have to imagine the people around me, what they're like. But I can't wait to go take you guys on that journey every time I go home, every time I travel around with my family here. You guys are gonna learn a lot. I'm gonna learn a lot. We're gonna be on this road together. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to, I have so many ideas in my head that I want to put out here for the world and I can't wait to share those with you guys. It's been in my big, oh, that's why my forehead is so big, I think, because all my ideas are circulating in the front of my head. So I can't wait to finally put those on the internet. If you guys like it, I'll be happy. If not, I'll still be posting because your girl is perseverant. Pers Persever perseveres through everything okay so i'll keep going and we'll see what's happening but anywho if you like this video please like it like it like it like it i know my first few likes are going to be people that i know but i hope and pray that the people who i don't know like it and we get to know each other because there's a lot more for y'all to see and this is about to be a crazy ride so you better buckle up buttercup but like this video subscribe to my channel please it's gonna be a fun journey also follow me on social media that way you know when i post it and when i do get dressed you can see the pictures on there so um please i hope you guys come back for the next video look forward to it for sundays for right now um it could be random days that i post other days but um, for the most part i'll see you guys next sunday and i can't wait to go on this journey with you guys bye